Hey there, it's JT Smith with another marketing video. Today I have a lovely keyword research tool for you. Today's keyword research tool is Jaxi. Um, I think that's how you pronounce it. I have never heard anybody pronounce it. J-A-A-X-Y. And I just wanna show you all the features and tell you my opinion on it um, and whether you should use it or not for your keyword research setup. Let's dive right in. You will notice that they have a free trial and the free trial gives you 30 searches. And then um, I like to jump right into the pricing model. Uh, and that's important because obviously if you're a smaller operation, you might have a very limited keyword research budget. Money. And that's one of the reasons that I picked the keyword tool that I currently use as my primary tool. But I'm looking at Jaxi and looking at other alternatives just to always look, make sure I have my eye on the competition, see if there's a better option out there for me. So here's what the pricing looks like. The Pro, which is unlimited search results, uh, is $49 a month. And then, and obviously you get all, all the actual results and not just 20, but you get to do as many searches as you want. And then Enterprise is $99 a month. And I would, I would guess that most people would not need an Enterprise plan um, unless you're an agency or a, a business that has quite a few users and um, you just need a ton of volume and and querying and stuff going on there. But uh, for most people, $49 a month, which is actually pretty reasonable in the keyword research tool space. I found that I think a lot of times the people who make these tools are just like throwing out a number that works for them. Uh, it's not based on like co the cost to run the platform or anything. It's just based on what do they think people are willing to pay? And you'll notice that some platforms like SimRush will charge upwards of 200 a month um, at, at a minimum. And then platforms like SpyFu will charge like 39, 37 a month. Uh, and, and so it's, this is right there at the lower end. And so, yeah, if you're, if, if we find out that we like how this thing works, then that's a pretty good price. So I started off by looking at, um, the phrase keyword research, just to see what it comes up with as recommended keywords, keyword research, uh, gets 7,400 searches a month. And if you were in first position is what this is, you would get 1,261 clicks. I'm, I would be surprised if they did much to customize this as opposed to just entering in like, oh, you would get 15% of clicks if you're in first position. Kind of makes this column useless, you know, if all of them are the same exact ratio. This shows the quoted search results, uh, which is the number of competing websites ranked in Google for this exact keyword. So that means 187 other sites are ranked for the term keyword research in Google. I'm guessing that is that means that their headline contains this, the term keyword research because otherwise there's way more than 187 pages on Google that have the phrase keyword research in them. But maybe this is just their headline says keyword research. And then is the competition score. So how likely are you to rank on the first page? with one being a you know low likelihood and 100 being a high likelihood. And they say that the if you want to go for the keyword keyword research for free, it's a high degree of um, you know likelihood that you can rank for it, whereas the base phrase keyword research is a lower likelihood. Now, I would be surprised. I mean, the people who who are in this space really put a lot of effort in making sure their pages rank. So like I would be this should really be on the most difficult end of things, if you ask me. I'm surprised they don't have the term free keyword research tool listed first or free keyword research. So, okay, so they have it down here, but uh, let's look at some other types of searches, maybe some more like e-commerce type thing. So buy shoes, maybe you, so first of all, it, it does take a minute, but that's, I guess that's because they're querying their database. This is a little bit interesting. It looks like there's some missing data here. What if we hit get buy shoes online versus buy shoes? Buy shoes online actually has a higher average monthly, you know, search volume than buy shoes according to the site. I would be surprised if that's actually the case. So maybe there's a little bit of accuracy, but overall, I do think these are some pretty good uh, recommendations. But let's check out their other features. Make sure we do like what they have to offer here. Um, I do wish they gave us like the paid search rec like estimated CPCs. Some of these keyword research tool platforms will do that. Uh, one thing to note about Jaxi is they're owned by, or they're made by the same people who made wealthyaffiliate.com. 
I found that site like 10 years ago, something like that. And so it was helpful back then. I haven't been on it in, in like nine years probably. So I really don't know how it is now, but I'm guessing that it's equally as good as it was back then. They ran a pretty good operation. And so I'm guessing that they do a lot of um, development work on this site. So even if something doesn't look quite right, uh, it'll probably get better. So here's what they say for keyword soup. Basically what this is, they do an auto suggest and come up with all the keywords they think relate to keyword research and contains the letter A or the, or the next word starts with the letter A. But these don't seem like organic things that people would search to me. This one does how to find keywords and do keyword research, but keyword research, keyword analysis. That doesn't sound like something people actually search. I do think this is useful for coming up with, if you're super niche and you want to know, let's try this with buy shoes. This might be a fun experiment. If you're looking to create a shop for shoes, what are some um, niches you can cover on your, your blog posts or your pages? And what are some meta tags you should go for? And what are some uh, you know, topics you should write about? So buy shoes at great prices, best place to buy shoes, buy shoes direct. I don't know how many people are actually searching these. I'm guessing if you clicked on them, it would give you those results, but it does look like this is a useful tool for recommended keywords to go after, especially if you're trying to find long tail keywords. Um, it'll give you a history of what keywords you've searched, which is useful. I've actually noticed a lot of tools don't give you a good history of what you've searched. Let's look at the search analysis tab. And this will show you the actual rankings on the search engine. Oh, and you can search across bing.com and yahoo.com. That's a useful feature to me. Most of these things only care about Google for good reason. Google has a large portion of the traffic. Uh, but if you're looking for a well-rounded ranking, you probably want to also rank on Bing and Yahoo. This is just a bonus feature. I think because these guys are connected to wealthy affiliate, they have this um, tool where you can look at potential affiliate offers to go after uh, on ClickBank, Commission Junction, LinkShare, or Digital River. And so if you go on ClickBank and you want to search keyword research, I'm positive that you're going to find at least one tool on here. Yep. Okay. So... If you were an affiliate marketer, you could find all the products that are related to keyword research. So Keyword Spy Pro, actually I might go through here and start doing YouTube videos on these things. But anyway, uh, one other feature I found on, on Jaxi that seems pretty interesting is you can set up a domain. Obviously I don't have any domain set up here. It will track your keyword uh, rankings over time for that page. So. If you have some nuclear keywords you really want your site to continue ranking for, it's good to track them here and find a way to check this every couple days. Overall, if I want to give my uh, my review of Jaxi, I would say go for it. Give it a try. Give it a, a free trial, a starter trial. And then if you want to get more than 30 searches out of it, you find it that useful for your business, then go ahead and upgrade. It's $49 a month. I'll give you a link in the description to Jaxi. Um, and it looks like they do have an affiliate program. So that'll probably be my affiliate link. It'll help me out if you use that link. And uh, that'll be the link directly to the homepage where you can get your starter account set up. Attention! If you or a loved one have been diagnosed with enjoying this video, you may be entitled to smash the like button. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe if you're interested in more marketing content. See you later. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun.